How distinctive has American philanthropy been? What can we see in it that sets it apart from other traditions of giving? Since every, every civilization has a tradition of giving. And a common answer to this question calls for making a distinction between charity, mostly giving alms to the poor, and the new philanthropy devoted to the search for the root causes of social ills. But also this uh, distinction has merit. I don't think it is what has set American philanthropy apart from other traditions of giving and put it in a class of its own. I think what has made American philanthropy uh, historically distinctive uh, is that it has been very broadly defined. So broadly, in fact, that it has penetrated all aspects of society instead of being limited to some only. A little over a century ago, at a time when the new class of American entrepreneurs became exceptionally wealthy, they, and in some instances their widows, opted to give much of their newly acquired money away. They didn't do it alone. They did it in partnership with reformers of all kinds. And very much influenced by the blueprints the reformers drew, but those philanthropists did not confine themselves to narrowly defined causes as both tradition and the law of charity actually required, but they advanced instead an open-ended agenda of works in which participants could redefine goals as circumstances changed. They promoted nothing less than something they called the good of mankind as the phrase became used increasingly in foundation charters and in bequests. In 1907, uh, Mrs. Sage, on joining their new foundation, called to take up the larger and more difficult problems of the day. In an early draft for the, early draft for the charter of the Rockefeller Foundation in 1910, uh, Reverend Frederick Gates stated as its goal the promotion of any and all of the elements of human progress the larger problems of the day, human progress. The final 1913 resolution was to promote the well-being of mankind throughout the world. Almost all of the Carnegie institutions were designed for the improvement of mankind. Simon Guggenheim added the appreciation of beauty for the 1925 foundation dedicated to the memory of his son, John Simon. Academic entrepreneurs who built the American Research University, uh, social science pioneers who championed a more equitable industrial society, public health promoters, advocates of uh, more progressive race relations, pushed the philanthropists to think big. Um, and the philanthropists were quite conscious of the new means that generated and of their potential for the common good. Thus, rich on the one hand and reformers on the others built a lasting alliance despite the reformers' conscience that the rich, whose money they were seeking, were often responsible for the social problems they wanted to resolve. 